Peace, infinite waters diving deep. Once again, we're out here, we're in nature. We're so chilled out, just woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Because this video is about stress. Are you stressing out right now? Like so stressed? And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Yeah. Chill out, calm down. Never tell that to a stressed person. 10 signs you're overstressed and don't know it. Snapchat questions. Let me start by saying that stress is so healthy. In fact, I welcome stress because if I'm stressed, it means I'm going to the next level. You see, there is being stressed, but then there is being overstressed. And that's when you exceed the stress threshold and now you're exhausted. So become your greatest version. Let's go through some of the signs. Now, stress is when you are out of equilibrium, homeostasis within the body. And I spoke about how if you hold up your arm for like 10 minutes, can you do that? Oh my gosh, it's, I'm so tired. That's right. Imagine if you put some clothes on top of that. Oh, you're even more tired. It goes down quicker. Imagine if you're arguing. You can't hold it up for 10 minutes. Like, yo, yeah. goes right down. Okay, that's what overstress, overstressing does to us. Okay, so let's start with the first sign. You're overstressed and don't know it. What happens? Uh-oh. When you have a disconnection from nature, you don't even know it. We have been conditioned and programmed to live in cubicles, buildings, concrete buildings. We close the windows. Yeah, we think that's normal. No, it's not. We've only been living like this since the last few hundred years. Okay? Before that point, a lot of us were more in nature. <laughs> And if you go back thousands of years, we actually lived in nature. <laughs> a disconnection to nature is why so many people have increased cortisol levels. They're stressing out, like they're shouting at you and you don't even know why. So every single day, what do I do to de-stress? I get my butt into nature. But ask yourself, as soon as you wake up, are you jumping straight onto the computer? or maybe you're rushing straight to work. That's why you're stressed and don't even know it. So always realize nature will heal you. <sighs> Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. You gotta connect with the chi, the prana. That is the life force all around us. Everything in this universe works on energy transfer. Listen very closely, energy transfer. So let's think about it. If we are comprised of energy, how can we lose energy? You can't lose energy, so why are you overstressed? Because you see, energy can't be lost, only what transferred. Mm. Slow motion that side. Mm. So what are you transferring your energy to and what is it giving you back in return? The second sign you're overstressed is that you are transferring your energy <laughs> by rushing around so much that it depletes your energy. Once again, if you are in nature, that is the docking station for human beings. A lot of us were in a hurry to get nowhere fast. And that was me along my earlier journey. Oh yeah, I was running so fast, then I realized I wasn't in the Olympics. What's the point? <laughs> okay, a lot of us, we don't even have breakfast. We just jump in the car, rush to work. Not me. I said in 2011, I quit. I was working as a psychologist in a school, working with people with ADHD, autism. I loved it. But at the same time, I knew there was more. I knew nature was calling me, baby. The birds were calling me. So I had to get my butt into nature and slow down. Slow down. <laughs> Look, I learned in becoming my greatest version that slow is fast and fast is slow. What? 
What are you talking about, Ralph? I'll give you an example. Ever try to do something really fast and then mess it all up? And then you've got to slow down? And then you can do it? That's how life is. If you rush to do something, you won't do it well. If you take your time, you will. Slow motion that side. So what's helped me gain clarity, why I've always got energy, is because I'm in the docking station right here. Oh yeah, I got a massive studio, lots of fancy lights and stuff, but nature is my favorite place to be because it slows me down. Once you reconnect to the elements of life, you now become your greatest version. Hydromancy. Water divination. Some people are just staring into the ocean. That's what the ancient Greeks did, ancient Egyptians. And that was a form of therapy because it slowed them down just looking at the beautiful waves and we're like so wavy right now. It feels so good to be alive, baby. <laughs> What's the third sign? You're overstressed, not stressed, you're overstressed and don't know it. Okay, talk to me. Now, seven day vegan challenge, let's talk about it. Along my earlier journey, I was eating a lot of acidic foods. Once again, my body was out of balance. Now, a person who inspired me to eat better was Dr. Sebi, who recently passed away. Now, if you don't know who Dr. Sebi is, type into Google Dr. Sebi. This man cured so many diseases, but what really inspired me about Dr. Sebi was that when I was really not good in health wise, <laughs> yes, I was on the floor everywhere, okay? He said something which really spoke to me. He said, mucus is, mucus is the cause of all disease. Eliminate the mucus and you eliminate the disease. Slow motion for Dr. Sebi. So I was like, oh, I get it because I, at that point in my life, I was drinking so much milk, eating so much meat, pork, lamb, whatever you, you can think of. Yeah, really acidic food. And I wasn't in good shape. So I started to take his advice and other holistic practitioners at that time. And also I started to go into nature and just say, oh my gosh, those are some beautiful apples. I wonder what that would taste like. I started to incorporate a more plant-based diet, more plant-based diet into my life. And I've been a vegan for over 11 years. I'm not saying it's the only way, but it's what works for me and it's helped me to de-stress. You see, when our body is overstressed, it's because it's working too hard. Once again, the energy transfer. Do you know when you're eating so much, when you're overeating, blood from the brain has to go into the stomach to help digest the food? Once again, energy transfer. If you eat less, you have more energy. That's the paradox. Balanced diet. Okay, the food ain't gonna run away. Whoa, it's running away. Strawberries with legs. Oh my goodness. Right, so a more alkaline diet. In essence, I feel it's all about balance. Okay, okay, balance. Acid and alkaline should really be balanced. But I say, it starts with the water. You see, over 70% of our body is water. A lot of us, we are dehydrated. When you are thirsty, you are already dehydrated. I always tell people, a lot of our water is full of fluoride. Decalcifying, no it's not. It's calcifying your pineal gland. You wish it was decalcifying your pineal gland. No, you want the natural mountain spring water. That is what will de-stress you because it's full of the right electrolytes the body needs okay pH 10 pH 9 this is the water that will de-stress you if you are dehydrated you're going to be overstressed every single cell within our body runs on water what's the fourth sign you're overstressed and don't know it now do you remember my early videos? Yeah, Ralph, your hair was like huge. Yeah, I had a massive afro and it was sometimes so massive it used to knock the camera out of the way. 
Look, telogen effluvium. What am I talking about? Hair loss. That is a sign you are overstressed and don't know it. Now, I meet a lot of people, I've counseled people with hair loss. You see, Harvard studies have shown, the University of Maryland Medical Center, they've showed that, especially in women and men who are overstressed, they are more prone to telogen effluvium. What am I talking about? You see, our hair has a cycle. The anagen, three to six years. Okay, that's the growth stage where our hair follicles are connected to the blood supply. Okay. Then you've got the catagen, which lasts from about one to two weeks where the hair follicles become disconnected. But hey, the hair is still chilling on top of your head. And you've got the last stage, the telogen, which lasts for about five to six weeks. And that's where your hair starts to fall out. Now, this is just a natural hair cycle, okay? But you see, people who are overstressed, they have telogen effluvium, which is the prolonged state of the telogen cycle. Mm -hmm. Slow motion that side. Okay, and... What I've seen along my journey is that, okay, I even notice I can make my hair grow really fast and I can delay its growth. How? Because you see, hair growth, coconut oil is one of the best ways to grow your hair really fast, okay? Full of lauric acid. But you see, it's a lot deeper than just what you put on your hair. It's what you're eating. <laughs> Are you eating watercress the most nutrient-dense vegetable in the world kale fantastic spinach blueberries full of vitamin c they're going to promote blood circulation going to the scalp once again increasing the antigen stage of hair growth preventing the prolonged state of the telogen effluvium so you see <clears throat> well my mic was just about to fall down I said, you see? Okay, so natural right here. Look, so once again, eat the right foods for the right hair growth, baby. Now, that will de-stress you. Eat a whole load of strawberries, baby. <laughs> What's the fifth sign? You're overstressed and don't know it. Okay. The body talks to us in metaphors. Ouch! What was that? You're overstressed. Pain. I used to have like chest pain have you ever experienced chest pain and you're not having a heart attack okay you are overstressed i used to have so many panic attacks like every single day and i was overstressed because i was living a lifestyle which wasn't serving me you see i always say it's a lot even deeper than food you see a lot of us we're overstressed because we are in alignment to our true life purpose you're living a lifestyle which doesn't serve you every single day and you know it but it's too late, you think. No, it's not. You're in it too far. No, you're not. You can change all of that. But you see, acute pains, chest pains, back pain, your body is in pain, it's communicating to you. You see, a lot of, when we talk about health on a psychological level, on a psychological level, they are psychosomatic. A lot of us, we're overthinking. Therefore, this turns into a pain within the body. Look, what helped me along my journey was to say, okay, every single pain you get in the body is like a sensor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, you better listen to the alarm, what I call the body alarm. Our body naturally should be in a perfect state of equilibrium and homeostasis. A perfect state of equilibrium and homeostasis. You see, what's the difference between dogs and humans? Dogs are mindful. Humans are mindful. What am I talking about? You see, humans are thinking of so many different things while a dog is just in the present moment. Mindful. Can I get a hello? There. 
right? That's why animals in their natural state are very in equilibrium. So once again, you are overstressed if you are getting these pains and you are ignoring your body senses, right? You've got to pay attention to any pains you are getting in the body, okay? What's number six? You're overstressed, oh yeah, and you don't even know it, oh yeah. Look, every single day, what happens? We are trying to be validated by other people. Please like me, please like me. That's a lot of stress. We care so much about what other people think to our own detriment. And that was me along my earlier journey. Just wanted to be accepted. Just wanted to be liked. Wasn't happening. When I stopped caring, I totally de-stress. But you see, a lot of us, our stress is subconscious. Therefore, we're not even aware of it while we're overstressed. Because since we were a child, we've been trying to fit in, trying to, we're trying to be accepted in every single second. That's a lot of stress for the body. Now you're overstressed, baby. So what helped me along my journey was to say, hey, screw it. If they don't like it, well, at least the cat down the road does. No slow motion. What's number seven? A lot of us, we are overstressed because we are opening way too many windows. Windows, yeah. Ever been on the computer and open like five different windows? Like you got six different things you're seeing on six different windows. Yeah, it's really overwhelming for the body, right? Exactly. Don't do it ever again. <laughs> you're overstressing right now. You see, our body is very similar to a computer. Too many thoughts, the computer crashes, it closes down. So what's helped me is to realize that, hey, just think simple thoughts, right? Close down so many windows, just have one open at, at a time. One window open at a time, focus on one thing at a time, what I call the one rule of everything. We are overthinking because we are multitasking. That's why we've got so many windows open. But once again, by trying to do so many things at once, we end up doing all of them badly. When you focus on one thing, you put all your attention, not only do you do it so well, but you start to have fun with it because you get into the rhythm, you develop a cadence, and you actually start to enjoy what you're actually doing. So the solution, do less and you will get more. Do more and you get nothing. What's number eight? You are so stressed, overstressed, and don't know it because you've forgotten about what really matters. Okay? When was the last time you called a good friend? Huh? You've forgotten about them, right? Yeah, they don't even exist. You don't even have time for your own family, for goodness sakes. That was me along my earlier journey. I was so focused on my job, like I didn't have time for nobody. You are overstressed and don't know it because you have a lack of basic self-care. You don't even have time to brush your teeth. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that was me. No, I actually brushed them, but I was using fluoride toothpaste, not good. So now we have the organic one, okay? so. In de-stressing, what I realized was to say, look, family and friends aren't always going to be here. Okay, at any moment, you could be wiped off this planet. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Okay, so spend time with family and friends. Don't tell me you don't have time because you got time to be in work. You got time to be in jobs that don't serve you. Right? There's always time. Time is a man-made illusion, baby. We are infinite. People always say, well, I ain't got time for that. But you got time to rush to work? Oh yeah. <laughs> There's always time, solution. Make time for family and friends that really matter, the people that will always be there. What's number nine? You are overstressed and don't know it because you have forgotten about your dreams. Like what you really love to do. 
Even your traveling plans have been put on hold because you are so overstressed. That was me along my earlier journey. I said, what were my dreams again? I had always wanted to write a book, but I said, ain't nobody got time for that. I was too busy rushing to work. And when I left in 2011, I actually wrote a book, Feel Alive on Amazon now, go and buy it. <laughs> and guess what? Best feeling ever. I actually traveled, went to Brazil, had a great time in Ipanema Beach. Oh baby, flashbacks right now. Okay, fantastic. I realized that, hey, we are immortal, but you only live once in this present day setting. You're gonna come back, maybe as a cat down the road. But right now, you gotta live like you're only gonna live once. That means ain't nobody got time to waste. You are overstressed because you've forgotten about what really makes you happy. And you know you're not happy. But once again, stress is now, stress has now become an inbuilt routine. You can't stop yourself because this is all you know. And that was all I knew. Till I said, I gotta press pause, baby. And what happened? I said, I started to remember my dreams. What I used to love to do as a child, like play on the swings. And I love to play on the swings with someone special. She knows who she is. Look, <laughs> go back to the old photo album and look at yourself when you were a child, okay? Remember your dreams. You owe it to yourself to become your greatest version and then you will de-stress. But more so, you will know why you came here. You, you will know, you will really know <laughs> why you came here. You came here to be free, baby. And what's the 10th sign you're overstressed and don't know it? What happens when we live our lives not taking time to even look around us. You're overstressed and don't know it because you're not paying attention. Well, you just bumped into a lamppost for goodness sakes. What's happening? No, really, what's happening? We're overstressed because we're not paying attention. There have been times where I've just bumped into random things, sometimes a wall, because I'm in a rush. <laughs> Nowadays, sometimes it still happens, but it's a lot less because I'm paying more attention. That's a sign you are de-stressing. If you keep tripping over, sometimes you're parking in the wrong space, you get a ticket, you're losing clarity, losing focus, you're overstressed and don't know it. Okay, you're spilling like, tomato sauce all over your shirt overstressed not paying attention okay so what's helped me is to realize once again fast is slow slow is fast i i i know i know i'm de-stressing when i have more clarity when i'm paying attention to detail okay and a great way to do this is like go to an art gallery right and then just look like immerse yourself in the art and see the contrast the beautiful colors have you even got time for that never mind don't worry about it <laughs> what are some bonus signs what are some bonus signs that you're overstressed once again energy transfer you are listening to music and it doesn't serve you okay and it is sucking up your energy you're overstressed and don't know it baby once again energy can't be lost you can't lose energy but it can be transferred so what's helped me along my journey is to relax with 432 hertz music i've got a lot of it on my channel a lot of the <clears throat> a lot of those videos have over a million views by the way and that's because a lot of people are overstressed right now on the planet right i even listen to that every single day because i need to de-stress myself and right now we're in nature it feels so good to be alive baby can i get a hello there have a beautiful day Woo! breathing in that good ass prana getting high infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you <laughs>